always ready to please the man by any means, no matter what, because it's her main duty. So if your mind is busy with panic, stress, shock, fear, she's thinking about survival, she's thinking about how to protect kids, where to get money, how maybe to get out of really bad place. Do you really think she would like uh, to have sex? The topic today is very interesting. For many of you, it sounds quite obvious, the answers. Why actually your lady may not want sex? So we're going to discuss main reasons of constant headaches. This topic is very important. Why? Because the physiology of women and men absolutely different. Men always want sex, right? Unless he has some health issues or some other moments, but that's really mostly the rare case. But with women, the situation is absolutely different. And I know guys from my personal experience and uh, from stories of my friends, clients, whatever, uh, other people's stories, I know that you guys used to get offended because uh, you are not always understanding the real reason why women uh, may have decrease of libido or sexual desire. Okay. And you can, you can think that it's all because she stopped loving you or she doesn't want you or whatever. So of course, such understanding of this problem can cause much more problems and it's going to happen like a snowball, you know getting bigger and bigger and bigger, because it's not always, I understand and everybody understand, it's not always pleasant to talk and to discuss such problems. And not every couple actually able to do that openly. So you need to trust each other. Uh, but unfortunately, most of people just prefer to get offended, to keep silence, to wait until the situation will, uh, will be solved somehow by itself, maybe with the time, maybe some conditions will be changed to give you some basic things, which probably, you know, but probably never think about these, uh, reasons in the real life. Everybody understands that sexual relationships are very important part of our life. And for sure, everyone wants, you know, like in a movie. So butterflies in your belly, enchanting sensations, feelings, and of course, pleasure explosions. But the reality, unfortunately, doesn't always fit uh, expectations, unfortunately. So during today's discussion, we're going to talk specifically about women, right? Because exactly they more often face these problems in the sex. Men as well may suffer from them, but because during centuries, you know, the society suppressed just the women's sexu sexuality. For men, that's always was okay. But our modern society uh, is not so severe right now, but still, still often follows the same rules and dogmas. In addition, important to mention local peculiarities. If we talk about Ukrainian ladies specifically, as you know, at the post-Soviet territory, in comparison with West, there wasn't any sexual revolution. So as you know, there was not sex in Soviet Union at all. It was prohibited and not common to talk about such things like sexual bringing up. So daughter couldn't come to mom. Mom didn't know how to talk, how to explain. We are talking about normal sexual bringing up when mom should sit one time face to face with the girl or even with the boy and explaining some basic things. But unfortunately, there is no such culture in Soviet Union. Even now, in our modern society, Ukrainian ladies try to avoid these topics, thinking that probably some friends or in school or from internet, kids can get the main information. So, but that's not right. And Ukrainian women fighting with the consequences of such processes. And it's quite difficult, you know, because from generation to generation, these stereotypes are being passed from mom to daughters about how actually must be the real woman. She needs to be nice, malleable, economic, good housewife, 
perfect mother, uh, and always, what is very important, always ready to please the man by any means, no matter what, because it's her main duty. That's stereotype, which we still get from middle aged and more aged uh, generation of women. You, it's a different story. They are more westernized right now, feminized. They get informed from open resources. They can have kind of challenges, you know, uh, they can start sexual life very early and they're a little bit different. But as far as public guys uh, who watching our live streams, they are more aged, middle-aged men. Of course, you are not going to deal, I guess, to have sexual relationship or start relationship with the girls like 20, 22, something. So sometimes, yes, probably the guy is too young, but mostly... Uh, more common guys uh, of middle age. So, you know, <clears throat> in a stable relationship, long-term relationship already, the decreasing of sexual desire is not a rare problem as well. So many women, and even more often probably happens, many women are not ready that amorousness and begin are going away. That can cause a problem with decrease of sexual desire. So falling in love, as you know, is just a sexual attraction. This is kind of hormone dopamine, the source of butterflies, right, in the stomach and powerful sexual desire. But when the dopamine period passes, and this happens sooner or later, unfortunately, right? So as experts says, say, uh, love lives uh, three years, I don't agree. But experts say that's kind of dogma, right? So, but they have some reason for that. I mean, uh, in regard of mm, biochemical processes in our bodies. So relationships are built on the basis of another hormone, oxytocin. So if dopamine can be called the hormone of passion, then oxytocin is the hormone of love. And you know the difference between passion and love. Two different stories, right? So uh, hormone of love, oxytocin, these should be earned. So oxytocin is produced when there is closeness, affection, understanding, respect, trust, actually harmony between partners. And if a couple works on their relationship, develop them together, it's a dialogue in the partnership, right? So they will have good sex even after this passion period is over because they will love. One of the next reasons can be stress. Stress, you know, greatly affects sexual desire. Though I know, guys, you don't believe probably most of you because you're working hard and you're getting back home very tired in most situations. And so you don't understand why you want sex when you're tired or stressed, probably not always, of course, but still much more than women do, right? And you don't understand why she may not want. So stress, you need to understand the nature of stress is an emotion that ensures survival in critical situations. So stress hormones activate the body's resources, which are necessary specifically for survival, turning off Many systems that are not helpful in this matter, including uh, the reproductive one. Guys, let's say we have war right now. Do you really think after uh, such stress, which most of people, men and women as well, but of course, women are more sensitive, more paranoid, right? More touchy, more fragile in psychological meaning. Do you really think that people living in a hot places or hearing uh, air raid sirens all the time or sounds of explosions or fidgeting the houses, do you really think these people really want sex right now on the same level uh, like they did it before, before war? We all know in men prevalent always physical basic instincts, but Women, they are different type of creation, right? And they are living more by emotions and feelings. So if your mind is busy with panic, stress, shock, fear, 
She's thinking about survival. She's thinking about how to protect kids, where to get money, how maybe to get out of really bad place. Do you really think she would like uh, to have sex? I guess the answer is obvious. So don't forget nature, nature, logically reason that when it comes to saving lives, there is no time for procreation. And although the need to take children to kindergarten, put away toys, do laundry, clean the house, cook dinner for the whole family, and the accompanying fatigue with lack of sleep do not seem to be a mortal danger, of course, but the body thinks so and releases stress hormones simultaneously suppressing libido. So if a woman works, then it has uh, like a tight schedule, busy schedule, constant overwork, hustle, deadlines uh, lead to, to the same result. And stress, of course, is uh, one of the biggest reasons for decrease in sexual desire. So you don't want sex even when there is no trust in couple as well. When there is some kind of violence, that's obvious, I guess, emotional, financial, and not even to mention physical, right? Hello! Привет! And welcome to UkraineDating.tv Our channel is the world's first of its kind providing free live streaming every single day, seven days a week with the real genuine, beautiful Ukrainian ladies. Finally, now you have the opportunity to video chat live seven days a week with different beautiful Ukraine girls of all ages and walks of life. You get to ask all your deepest burning questions about all things Ukraine, Ukraine culture, Ukraine women and Ukraine current events. And if you come to enough of our live streams, you might just discover what makes us mysterious women tick. Guys, I think you understand we're like David fighting Goliath here to bring you the truth once and for all. Our channel's purpose is to debunk the myth and stigma created by the toxic paper letter scam industry. And we hope you agree the best way to accomplish that is by giving you the opportunity to video chat with average Ukrainian girls that represent the real women of Ukraine. And then you be the judge about what's real and what's not. Guys, please know that we're doing this all for you. So do me a favor and subscribe to our new channel and help us help you, your fellow man, and help us bring Goliath to his knees. So guys, can I ask you to share this video with all your friends? Only together we can make a difference, guys.